Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us with our forecast through to Christmas Day. Now I've got to say we've got some tropical trouble still brewing. Uh, it's not yet clear exactly what's happening up there, but around the northern parts, up here around Fiji and Vanuatu, there is an area of low pressure just starting to form. And the long range maps after Christmas, between Christmas or Boxing Day and the end of the year, suggests that we could be seeing more big rainmakers coming down, but it is not yet locked in. So if you're planning on going away, still keep the plans, but just be aware there might be some wet weather coming in. We haven't yet locked it in, but it is showing back up again. But in the meantime, and we'll talk about that a bit more before we get to the end of the broadcast, but in the meantime, windy westerlies are coming back to New Zealand. It's going to feel more like spring for the next uh, four or five days ahead. West coast rain, uh, severe gales, and eastern areas warmer than usual. So at the moment, there is a temperature drop. So for those in the upper North Island, after three weeks of muggy weather and humidity and uh, those northerlies and easterlies, you're back to southwesters now. So definitely a little easier for sleeping. Temperatures go up. This is a temperature map as well at the moment, so you can see it's a little bit warmer with the orange shading around the eastern sides of the North Island and the upper South Island, but the South Island itself looking cooler. But look at Australia. The darker reds and oranges suggesting a big pulse of hot weather on the way there. And not only is it coming down across Australia, but funneling down towards Antarctica. So this is quite a big hot event going on in Australia. Look at this map. These are the maximum temperatures of 40 degrees or more. Friday, today, but look at Saturday, it stretches right out and the pink areas are over 45 degrees. It does start to retreat a little bit though as we head in towards the weekend and by Monday, but Saturday is certainly the day where that hot weather is going to be pushing through with a number of places getting over 40 degrees and 45 even in some areas. So this is how it looks on Saturday. There is that pulse of hot weather. You can see the red line, the tropics being pulled down like that around this high pressure zone. And then that warm weather will start to spread out to the South Island. So a little bit of a cool down the last day or two, but then you'll get a bit more warmth coming back on Saturday. Southwesters continue through, there might be a shower or two, and there is that area of low pressure up in the tropics. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. We'll, we'll get back to the New Zealand forecast though for now. So here is the setup for Sunday. High pressure is still over the North Island but the rain clouds now start to move up the west coast and it gets heavier as we get into Sunday. Also, we've got rain, uh, sorry, we've got wind blowing through there as well, which will get even more intense as we get into Monday. But Sunday's got the rain starting and this is the three day map from Sunday showing that rain returning. Now, normally uh, 200 millimeters over three days in Fiordland wouldn't normally make the headlines at Weather Watch, but it's summertime. People are going away camping, tramping, hiking. So. This is something to be aware of. The good news is it's not so much up in the populated areas, but certainly down here in our popular national parks, some very heavy rain and it kicks off from this Sunday. Now we get into Monday, the rain continues on, the heavy falls down around Fiordland and South Westland, but now we've got strong winds as well, getting up to severe gale. So um, for the people that are on the other side of the mountains and ranges, through parts of inland Canterbury and Otago and Southland, you might be thinking, I'm away from the rain, so therefore it's not so bad, but actually um, it's gonna be very windy. 120 kilometer an hour gusts in the purple pink shading, which goes up into the North Island as well. And there are even some areas in the real mountainous areas that could be getting up to 140 or 50 kilometers an hour, 150 kilometers an hour gusting on the tops of those mountains. So again, for trampers and hikers and campers, just be aware, it's going to be a bit of a rough start to next week. Now, as we move through into Tuesday, we've still got plenty more of that windy nor'wester uh, coming through over the South Island and also the lower North Island. That'll make it hot in the east, but a little cooler in the west. The humidity starts to return up here on Tuesday for the North Island, a bit more of a subtropical flow, but these westerlies are going to continue on through next week. Here's Wednesday, still got windy westerlies blowing across New Zealand and wet weather on the west coast. So it, it's definitely going to feel like spring from, well, it already is, does now today in some areas, and it will last like that right through till maybe Wednesday, Thursday next week. By the way, that's not entirely unusual. December's a bit of an unsettled month. But here is something interesting. This is uh, showing low pressure all up here in the tropics and this little low pressure zone here. So let's fast forward from Wednesday to Saturday and Christmas Day. This is Christmas Day. This map keeps changing, but one thing that doesn't is low pressure on the map. We've got a huge storm south of Australia, 
But more interesting, interestingly for New Zealand, it's the low pressure up in the tropics. This is the area I'm really interested to see where this all goes. We've got low pressures down here. And what we just saw in the last week with the flooding in New Zealand was low pressure in the Tasman, New Zealand area, siphoning energy out of the tropics and pulling it down to New Zealand. Now, the jury is still out for Christmas Day, but we've got low pressure zones all around us and then a big high down here to the south. So there's a lot going on. We'll be monitoring it uh, very closely. There are some long range maps that are showing some rain coming through after Boxing Day for New Zealand through uh, to New Year's Eve. So we'll be keeping a close eye on what is happening in the tropical area. There's a lot of energy thanks to La Nina and it wants to escape. It wants to balance the books. Too warm, too much heat, and so therefore it wants to transfer that somewhere else. So we'll keep a very close eye on what is going on there. Don't change your plans just yet. Be aware though that there could be some interesting weather setups after Christmas Day. That is all from me for this week. We'll be back again next week for our final videos of 2021.